we're not sure who she is. We think maybe she's the celestial maiden that went back into the sky. You know, these are old folk stories from Japan. Mm -hmm. There are three folk stories in the, that are woven into the story, and mm -hmm. they sort of follow the timeline of the story. Right, right. And um, one of them is Urashima Taro. I think it's something like Rick Van Winkle. Uh -huh. You know, it's about an, a young man who goes down into the sea instead of going up in the mountains. Uh -huh. And um, that's one. And then this one, this one, and then there's another one, which is a, a, an adaptation of a real story of a man who could paint so well that he was as a little boy, maybe about your age, and he loved to paint pictures. I like to paint pictures. Yeah. You like to paint pictures? Yes, paint pictures, Margaret. Yeah. Well, he, he was punished one day because he was painting when he should have been working. So with his tears, he painted a mouse on the floor, and he painted it so well that next morning the cat saw the mouse and thought it was a real mouse <laughs> and jumped on it. Okay. So that's another one of the stories. Could you imagine painting a whole mouse with your tears? Oh. Like you have to with your toe. That would be pretty sad. <laughs> and he toe. painted it with his toe. Can you imagine that? Okay. It's something. Pretty cool, huh? Do you guys have any questions? No. No? No. Just say thank you. Oops, Brian, you need to be looking at Thank you so much for coming. It looks